not only do we work with our dogs uh, 10 to 12 hour shifts, but we also take our dogs home and we also live with our dogs obviously full time. Police, show me your hands. Come out of the bush now. Come on, go. Drop the weapon. Let the dog go. Let's go. Show Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show me your hands. Do it now. Show me your hands or release the dog. Show me your hands or release the dog. I'm not afraid of you. Come on. Let me go. Let me go. We're not doing canine specific calls. We're also backing up other officers on other police related calls uh, when they need another another police officer there to help out. We play an active role in the community services aspect of policing. Uh, we participate in uh, community events, doing demonstrations and meet and greet with the police dogs. We go to local schools. My opinion would be that the, the canine unit is a good vehicle to bridge the gap between the uh, police and the public. A lot of people like the dog and are fascinated with what the dog can do, so it, it's a nice way to kind of uh, break the ice between the public and the police overall. They're a great tool, uh, uh, you know, to locate whether it's a child that wanders away. Um, you know, we service a, a large area. Matt and I have both been successful in locating, uh, locating people that have suffered through this. My partner Matt and his dog and, and Garen and myself, we live, we live close to the area that we work. Uh, so we're only a few minutes away from, uh, from call either in Innisfil, Bradford, Cookstown, wherever we're needed. You work with them, you live with them, you go on trips with them. So there's a very close, uh, tight-knit bond between the two of us.